Good day. For those of you who do not know us, we are the instructional staff for EC150, Professors Hiran Patel and Werner Dietl, and Douglas Harder. In this talk, we're going to carry on our investigation of the assignment operators. So, in this topic, we're going to look at, first, swapping two local variables. We will then describe the automatic assignment operators and conclude by describing the automatic increment and automatic decrement operators. We've already seen that assignment can be used for local variables. Here we have two local variables, x and y, both of type double. We ask the user for a value of x, and we get that through the standard console input. We then assign to the local variable y the result of x squared plus 3.2x minus 1.5, and we print that result out. Now, suppose we have two local variables and we need to swap their values. So, for example, here we have a program that asks the user for two doubles, x and y. Now, we'd like to make sure that x is greater than or equal to y, so if x is less than y, what we're going to do is we're going to swap the values of x and y so that the maximum is the value x. Now, a problem. We could, if x is less than y, we could assign x the value of y, but now both x and y have the same value as y and so the original value of x is lost. Solution. Let us temporarily save the value that is stored in x to a local variable. We will do this before we assign it the value of y. That way the local variable stores that original value. So let us assume, for example, that the user gave us a value of 5.4 for x and 18.3 for y. Now we hit this conditional statement. The condition, x less than or y, evaluates to true, and so we begin executing the consequent body of the conditional statement. The first thing is that there is now a temporary, temporary local variable temp that is assigned the value 5.4. Next, x is assigned the value of y, which is 18.3. And finally, we assign y the value of temp, which is 5.4. Once we exit the conditional statement, the value of x is now the maximum of the two values x and y. All right, so this is how you can swap two local variables by using a third temporary local variable. Another common collection of assignments that is very ubiquitous within programming is to rather than simply assigning a local variable a new value, but rather to update that variable. So for example, the first statement says x is assigned the value of x plus 3. So whatever the old value of x is, the new value is the original value plus 3. Or we may subtract 10 from the value of x, or multiply the value of x by 2, or perhaps divide the value of x by some expression. The last one takes the integer n and replaces it by the integer modulo 10. These are so ubiquitous that there's a shortcut for these. So for example, x plus equals 3 is the same as saying x is assigned the value of x plus 3. Or x times equals 2 is the same as saying x is assigned the value of x times 2. These operators are referred to as automatic addition, automatic subtraction, and so on. Or alternatively, auto addition, auto subtraction, etc. 
Now, it's not only because these are common that these shortcuts are here. However, the actual reason for these shortcuts goes back to the original C programming language when it was designed back in 1970, and that's a little bit beyond the scope of this course. We may, however, add that as a note in one of our addenda throughout this course. Another very common operation in C++ is to change the value of a local variable that is of integer type by either plus or minus one. So n is assigned the value of n plus one or n is assigned the value of n minus one. With the previous operators, we could write both of these as n plus equals one or n minus equals one and this would be an automatic addition by, of one or an automatic subtraction by one. However, C++ has an even shorter notation for these two very specific operations. We can use plus plus n or n plus plus as an individual statement to add one to the value of n, and this is called auto increment. Or we can write down the operator minus minus n or n minus minus. Both of these decrease the value of n by one. So both of these are, all four of these are assignment operators. The first two incrementing the value of the local variable n by one. The second two decrementing it by one. Now you're going to ask, What's the difference between plus plus n and n plus plus? Now remember that the assignment addition operator when applied to a plus b evaluates to whatever the sum of these two local variables is or whatever the sum of the operands is. So if I assign x the value of a plus b, given a and b that sum is calculated and whatever that sum results in is assigned to the local variable x. Both plus plus n and n plus plus add 1 to n, but what does plus plus n and n plus plus evaluate to? For example, consider the following program. Here we have a local variable n that is initialized with the value 752. I just made that number up. Now, in the first print statement, we print out the result of plus plus n. Then we print the value of n, then we print the value of n plus plus, and then we print again the value of n. Let's see what happens. So what's the output? Well, when we execute this first line, plus plus n first adds 1 to the value of n and then returns that new value. So 752 added 1 with 1 added onto that is now 753. That is the value that is printed to the screen. At this point, the value of n is 753, and so this line will print 753 to the screen. n plus plus will add 1 to n, but it returns the original value of n. So now, the value returned by n plus plus or the value that n plus plus evaluates to is the original value which is currently 753. So 753 is what is printed. However, the actual value of n after this has been incremented and so now n has the value of 754. So now when we print the value of n, we do see the value of n equaling the value 754. If used by itself as a single statement, 
both plus plus n and n plus plus do exactly the same thing with no difference whatsoever. Both add one to n. The same with minus minus n and n minus minus. We only have issues if you perform these operations, but then use what this operation evaluates to that it actually will make a difference as to which you use. You will never require this in this course, although there will be opportunities where it may make your code ever so slightly more, quote, elegant, unquote. One small difference. Plus plus n is ever so slightly more efficient than n plus plus because the second n plus plus must store the original value of n which is then used when the statement is finished. In this class, we will therefore always use plus plus n or minus minus n as a single statement. So following this lesson, you now know how to swap two local variables. You understand that x is assigned the value of x plus some arithmetic expression, and x plus equals that arithmetic expression are equivalent. Both of them add that arithmetic expression, whatever it is, to the value stored in the local variable x. You also know, know the corresponding other automatic assignment operators, minus equals, times equals, divided equals, and modulus equals. You also know the auto increment and the auto decrement operators, plus plus n, n plus plus, minus minus n, n minus minus, and you understand that there is a difference between them. However, at this point, you will not have to articulate that difference. Here are some references, acknowledgements, the colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers!